You know, I don't like to do videos. I mean, I have to say that from the beginning. I usually share other people's videos because they can really express what I feel much more eloquently. Let's come to a point that I, that I thought, you know, I need to because I've been, I've done a lot of growth myself. I've been in this field. And I've been a therapist for I don't know, over 18 years. Prior to that, teacher, prior. But it's not only that. I've done a lot of spiritual work. And, uh, and I have an existential background. And hearing what's going on, especially since COVID, it's really sad. Because everyone's going through an existential crisis now. You know, the world is going through an existential crisis. The idea of why do I exist, right? We go through an existential crisis when we've lost meaning in our lives. And it's like this sort of emptiness, like a vacuum. And without knowing it, the society has either focused on fear or apathy. And when you feel that every time you feel a little bit uncomfortable, you go and have a drink, you go and smoke some pot, you go and buy, you go and do this, you can go online, you look at some porn, immediate gratification. It's just temporary. All that does is fulfills your desires, but not your spiritual hunger. And it seems like people are having it backwards. Like they, they go internal to listen to their thoughts, their crazy thoughts, you know. Thoughts are nonsense, everyone knows in this area. People have worked, people who are very spiritual generally talk about meditating, Basically, talk about being away from your thoughts, not to go and listen to your thoughts. I haven't heard any motivational speaker say, yeah, you should sit there and just listen to all these random stupid thoughts that come up. Like, oh, hmm, I wonder, you know, why is that lizard like that? Do they usually take a bath? I mean, all these thoughts that come up. I mean, I know I have crazy thoughts. Like, you know, I just look at something for a second, I have crazy thoughts. People actually pay attention to these thoughts and they get upset about them. Why? It's because they don't know how to go internal. You go internal for your spirit. Okay, people go external for their spirit. That's why they feel empty. How the heck is vodka going to make you feel better? How the heck is this hot guy that gives you attention going to make you feel better? Yeah, maybe for a second. And society just sells all this stuff, like, oh, yeah, if you get this. Yeah, they're all depressed, you know? People that are mean, people that are putting other people down, they're unhappy people. I don't care how much success you have. If a person is truly happy, they never, never get jealous. They don't, they don't put other people down. Those are unhappy people. And you can tell they haven't done their work. And... But a person that's truly happy can have all that success and really enjoy it and be unaffected by external negativity. So if you start working on what gives you meaning, if you start working on really truly looking at like, these people that are competitive and and striving, I mean, I again, it's great to strive. Success is very spiritual. People that are highly spiritual actually tend to be financially successful. They come to that point to put the energy into that, and then they go and work on themselves. But you have to have a meaning behind it. You have to have a reason, you know? If you know Viktor Frankl, the psychiatrist that survived concentration camps, what did he do? To survive. He was being constantly abused. His whole family was murdered in front of him, one by one. He decided to write a book 
God. Man searched for meaning. He gave himself a purpose to survive. Once you give yourself a purpose, once you even get the ability to do it, nothing will affect you. What people think about you is not going to matter. But so what? You know, even doing it, doing it for like your child, doing it for just the idea of love, for yourself, for just love. That is right. That will bring abundance to you because you're in a positive state. So it's the concept of going internal spiritually and external when it comes to thoughts. So what I mean external is thoughts are only important when you want to plan something or you want to communicate something. That's it. Okay? You write it down or you say it verbally and or schedule things. I mean, you know, you can like plan things and stuff like that, but that's what thoughts are for. I mean, you know, technically getting things done. But when it comes to emotions, you can't add, you can't think your emotions. And if you want to stop something, that's behavioral. That's not thinking. You're going to think that by, you're going to go that way and try to change your way of thinking. Good luck. That's the mind. The mind naturally is like that. You can't control the mind. But you got to learn how to use it properly. The spirit is what controls the mind. So just talk about that and let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day.